How's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our, my very special guest, K.L. Wong, the CEO of Hello Pal. How are you doing today, K.L.? Good. Thanks very much. Thank you for joining us. I'm very excited about learning more about your company. I've been doing a lot of research and Hello Pal has developed a proprietary suite of international live streaming social messaging, language learning mobile apps. Can you tell us a bit more about the services you offer? Yes, we have a suite of apps covering social language learning and travel in a form of HelloPal, LanguagePal, and TravelPal, as well as language phrasebooks in eight different languages. And they all stem from our corporate mission, which is to help bring the world closer together. So through our apps, you're able to meet new friends from all over the world, and using the extensive filtering capabilities, uh, you're able to find users from whatever countries that you may wish, uh, different languages according to age group or gender, uh, or from uh, whatever location. And after you've met these new friends uh, using our language tools, which is uh, our translation features as well as language phrase books, you're able to very effectively communicate with them even if you don't know their language. And starting from last year, we've added a live streaming component where you're able to also broadcast yourself or watch people broadcasting themselves, as well as to uh, um, give them gifts and receive gifts uh, from that broadcast. I love the, the direction you guys are going in. As a social media influencer myself who live streams very, very consistently, I love that. And I think that's the future of broadcasting. Now, what sets Hello Paul apart from social media and streaming platforms, other social media streaming platforms? What are some of the key popular features that make Hello Pal stand out against your competition? Okay, in terms of uh, when people hear social media platforms, they think about platforms like Facebook. So the first thing to understand is that um, we are not like Facebook where you're there to uh, socialize with existing friends. So with Facebook, even the new friends that you make are typically friends of friends. So our platform gives you the ability to make completely new friends where you probably don't even have any existing friends there that, you're, that you socialize with. So that's one. And secondly, we are more of an international platform. So, so it's not about meeting local friends in your vicinity, but uh, meeting friends all over the world. Um, and a, a lot of users have the wish to see the rest of the world, meet friends from the rest of the world. So we allow you to do that. And in terms of live streaming, um, we are a pretty much a, a very social form of live streaming as opposed to gaming or where you live stream in order to, to educate. So people live stream as more of a, a social uh, a desire. Um, and the difference that we have with other international social apps is that, well, some of the other international social apps which came on at the same time as, as us, they are still pretty much focused on the social features and they don't include, include live streaming. And the recent international uh, social apps, they, some of them are, they, they are basically a live streaming app, a live streaming focus and not so much uh, a social focus. So, so we started off as a social app, but now with also fully fledged live streaming features. And, and what I mentioned earlier is that uh, we are a, a suite of apps. So with a very interlinked uh, functionality between um, just plain social uh, as well as language learning and, and travel. So, so for example, some users who come to us uh, with just uh, wanting to meet people socially, let's say from Korea, because they happen to be watching Korean drama. So they, they find Korean users and, and after a while, they may have a need to learn Korean. So then they hop onto our language pal app. And before you know it, they have a desire to travel, although probably not this time. But uh, eventually, when they do want to travel, uh, they would probably end up using our, our app TravelPal. So we are a suite of apps which provide, uh, which service needs of users which are in any way international. 
Now, we've been in a crazy, crazy, crazy world in 2020. The world has changed due to COVID-19. But it's clear that the pandemic hasn't affected Hello Pal. With the company breaking multiple records this year, congratulations, by the way. Can you tell us a bit about what you've achieved in 2020? Yeah, it's been a good 2020 for us, despite the pandemic. And we believe that um, it's a result of the seeds that we planted in 2019. Uh, specifically, when we introduced live streaming uh, last year, uh, we, we believe, we've always believed that um, live streaming is the best way to monetize traffic and it's really proven to be the case. So we started having revenues since the middle of last year. And since the middle of this year, our monthly revenues are over 1 million Canadian. We've been cash wow. flow positive. And wow. we are now consistently above 1.5 million Canadian a, a month. And that's pretty much a five times increase since the beginning of this year. We expect to at least be doubling this by the end of next year. Wow, that's impressive. I like that. I like that revenue growth for a stock that's sitting at 16 and a half cents. That's fantastic. Can you tell yeah. us a bit more about your international expansion plan? Yes. Um, so up to now, the bulk of the revenue has been coming from Chinese users and from Chinese live streaming hosts. So this form of live streaming uh, in terms of where, where people make a lot of money uh, earning gifts. So this originated pretty much from China. And we see that the world, the rest of the world is only slowly starting to catch on. Uh, and we see it catching on uh, tremendously in, in other developing countries, uh, particularly the Middle East uh, and countries like India, Pakistan. Uh, so that's our target, uh, immediate target, where we actually, we've already started uh, expanding our focus onto the Middle East countries. And we see a pretty nice uptick so far already, even though we haven't really put in a lot of effort. Uh, so Middle East is, is on the radar next year. Uh, in the Pakistan, uh, countries in the, the Latin, American, uh, Latin America, as well as Southeast Asian countries, um, we believe we'll be, we'll be able to cover all of that next year. And hopefully they will uh, pick up as well as China has been doing. Yeah, it's oh, been... and also, yeah, and and I want to mention, um, we've also lined up marketing partners uh, with significant worldwide presence, uh, who can help us generate a lot of traffic uh, internationally, uh, especially the markets that that we mentioned, and we we'll, we are even creating specialized versions of Hello Pal, where we reward these marketing partners with more of the revenue share. Uh, so so. We've got pretty much um, uh, a good lineup uh, and we have uh, expect good results uh, from the international expansion. Very good. You guys are definitely on the right track. And Hello Pal has an impressive leadership team. Can you tell us a little bit about your key members and what they bring to the table? Yes, we last year we had the good fortune of uh, convincing a top-notch team that's been involved in, live stream, in the live streaming industry to come on board. And I consider them to be a very first class management and tech team. So uh, uh, one, of that, one of that team, um, Adega Jiao, he's now our president and director. He's been a live streaming veteran, uh, 10 years in, in the field of live streaming, since pretty much the beginning of live streaming in China. And he's had a proven track record. Uh, a recent addition to us, uh, Vincent Chai, another industry veteran, uh, he's helping us more on the international ex uh, expansion. So they've been involved in very successful live streaming companies um, previously. And, and so they are able to immediately bring HelloPal, expand uh, our live streaming features and bring in revenue. And it's, it's really been impressive because uh, we haven't, been the only ones recently to enter the live streaming space. Uh, for example, in China, there have been a lot of live streaming companies that have come on board, but it's, it's also been very competitive, uh, especially with all these 
people, different companies wanting a piece of the pie. And many of them have not survived. Uh, but we have, and I believe a large part of it is because of the experience that we have with, with the live streaming team. They have a very impressive ability to at attract and retain the live streaming host family groups that come on board uh, en masse and who also bring on um, the big spenders who give gifts uh, very lavishly. So, so we've been able to cut out uh, a small piece of the pie and, and it's, it's a large pie. And even a small piece of the pie is, is a lot. And, and with the ability, we, we believe we'll be able to continue to be able to carve out a larger piece of the pie. I agree. I think with your revenue growth, there's absolutely no reason why you can't. And what are some of the upcoming catalysts investors should be watching out for, for HP? Yeah, well, um, in terms of live streaming, uh, what we've, the, the, where we've been generating revenue so far, uh, we'll be expanding our live streaming operations in other countries, as, as I mentioned. So, so we expect uh, as that rolls out, uh, especially when, when the marketing companies come in, which bring us uh, a lot more traffic, uh, that should help us uh, increase revenues quite substantially uh, just from the international expansion. Uh, we also have uh, new business models and features that we've been releasing. And, and, and actually, we've just released a feature. Uh, it, it's to us pretty much in beta right now, uh, where we are still tweaking the features and adding more features. But it's, it's a new, completely new revenue model uh, where we rely on VIP uh, monthly subscriptions. And this gives us very, very high margin. Uh, and it's, it's to do with a, a new feature that we have, which is one-on-one -on -one video matching. And we see very successful examples uh, from other players where they've, they've been able to have very impressive revenues, revenue growth uh, in, in the international market. So we've l just launched that, uh, still tweaking the features. And, and this is one of the seeds that we're planting now, just like we planted the live streaming seed last year, which is bearing, bearing fruit now. We also expect uh, these features to, to also bear fruit further on next year. And we also have a relaunch of our language, language pal and travel pal apps uh, where, so we launched them earlier uh, a couple of years ago, but we were unable to really have the, the resources to do it the way we really want to do it uh, and to have the marketing budget to do it. So now that uh, financially we're much uh, in a much more comfortable position, we are now finally able to redo these apps the way we really want it to with the features that we feel it needs to have. And we'll be relaunching these apps uh, next year, uh, first half next year and second half next year uh, for Language Pal and Travel Pal. And we have very, very high hopes for these. Uh, personally, that's what I, I uh, have the greatest hopes for. Sounds great. I'm loving everything I'm hearing. We have investors all over the world. They're going to get a chance to see this video. What would you tell them is the best way for them to get in touch with you? Probably by email, um, kl at hellopal.com. Fantastic. Well, you know what, KL Wong, the CEO of Hello Pal. I'm very impressed with everything I see. Thank you so much for your time today. Myself and our entire community will be watching and we'll be watching your news. We'll be watching any catalysts. We'll be watching the stock and everything as it evolves. Congratulations on all your growing success so far. And we will be watching and hopefully you'll continue and achieve all of your objectives. Thank you so much. Appreciate this. Thank you, KL Wong, the CEO of Hello Pal. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a nice day.